driving with a dead dolphin through Hong Kong. Yes, I made this experience as probably the only Swiss person. Switzerland is famous for its beautiful nature, the chocolate, for the good school and university system. Also, we love knives. Switzerland stands for peace. Because of our great watches, we are always on time. And we love our cheese so much that we even explain the protection concept against the still globally active coronavirus to our citizens with different Emmentaler cheese slice. Social distancing, wearing masks, washing hands, rapid testing. This is the Hong Kong map. A normal Swiss tourist would visit Ocean Park to see dolphins live and living. But a normal tourist would never drive through Hong Kong with a dead dolphin. I wanted to share with you a story, but maybe also a story about spirit, innovation, about fighting for an idea and a personal life story which links science and scientists globally. A life story told by somebody who actually works mainly with the dead. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Everybody has a concrete idea of a forensic doctor, even during pandemic times. A motto of medicine is, as you can see here, morti vivos docent. The dead teach the living. This applies to humans, as you can see here, and animals. Here a panel of a historic autopsy room table. Forensic is often associated in the mind only with crime scene, as you can see here. But today there's much, to, much to forensic, to the forensic discipline, mainly DNA, toxicology, ballistics, IT, and other uh, topics. What is the goal and result of the evidence-based work in forensic? It's answering the forensic questions or report the findings which are objective and your conclusion, which is the subject interpretation of the findings based on a personal education and experience. In the 90s, we had an idea in Switzerland. Autopsy is an invasive, invasive process. This classic, the classic autopsy destroys the body in its, in its three-dimensionality. The question was, is there a technical option based on the technical evolution in medicine and we ask ourselves whether we could change the classical approaches with, as you can see here, scalpel, knives and scissors into a more digital approach. So this story became a story of transformation from classical to a digital or virtual approach. Every good story starts, as you know, in a garage. Because it happens in Switzerland some time ago, the story started in a Swiss chalet style like garage. Under the label Vertopsy, standing for digital respective virtual autopsy, we combined different technologies like photogrammetry based 3D scanning to, go to, to document the body surface through to scale and in 3D and in color. We visualized at the bottom line the inside of the body 
using computer tomography, magnetic resonance, post-mortem biopsy and post-mortem angiography. The next step was to integrate all these technolo technologies in one machine, the Vertobot. The Vertobot integrates all these mentioned technologies. We had even the idea that the final report was automatically generated and printed out of the computer. You can see here on the picture. Such things are possible today using machine learning and artificial intelligence. So you can see that this idea is not a fake story. But it's a, it, was a, it is a vision that had been realized. Here's the picture and the website of our modern vertopsy room in Zurich. And in addition to that picture, I'm standing here in front of you today in this vertopsy room, as you can see. Based on our many years research and experience, a lot of people call us in Zurich the Silicon Valley of forensic imaging. With surface scanning, we can capture the body surface in three dimension and generate a true to scale digital virtual twin, as you can see here. Here's the real body and here the digital twin. We can also document pattern injuries such as a bike mark, as you can see here, in 3D. We compare these with the digitized denture of a crime suspect in 3D. With modern software, we can determine whether the teeth matches the bite or not. Because With modern medical visualization software, it is possible to visualize the inside the body. And the images looks today, or they are so accurate that they even look like real autopsy findings. Because in the beginning, our vision was not accepted, neither in forensic or in radiology, we founded our own journal the Forensic Imaging Journal, and we founded our own International Society of Forensic Imaging and Radiology. In the 3D Center Zurich, real cases are proceeded. In this center, the 3D data of crime scene and forensic method flow together to solve the forensic cases or answer the forensic questions in 3D. We have also further development, developed the 3D surface documentation so that it can also be used or installed over the classical autopsy table in the autopsy room. You can also see here in this room an, uh, an example as an alternative to the classical 3D surface scanner of the vertebrate system. Furthermore, we have a forensic photo box which is equipped with over 80 cameras and modern software. With this forensic photo box, we can also visualize living person three-dimensionally within one second. Crazy, isn't it? Forensic medical experts and crime scene police document the crime scene, all damages us on all human bodies, dead or alive. Based on this 3D documentation, we reconstruct the crime scene in 3D in virtual space. With the so-called 3D glasses, it's even possible to beam virtually, digitally, from the courtroom into the remote crime scene. And now coming back uh, to the dolphin. All this forensic development was the reason I was allowed to ride with a dead dolphin through Hong Kong a few years ago. I can tell you this was a ride 
that will never forget, as well the smell in this car with the dead dolphin. After one hour drive, we reached the CT scanner and could scan the dolphin. The scanning was also a real milestone of a great scientific collaboration between Switzerland and Hong Kong. Later on, there were, there were also conferences which were led by our dear colleagues, colleagues in Hong Kong covering exact the similar topic uh, we had um, in Switzerland. And it was really, it was really a great pleasure for us when we received a gold medal for this idea and also the implementation in March 2021 at the Inventures Fair in Geneva here in Switzerland. A big thanks goes uh, to Brian Cott, who is wearing, wearing like me, the university t-shirt of Zurich and his whole team. It was a great pleasure for me to witness the enthusiasm of these uh, young people. Thank you very much. Summary, long story short. It is also the story of a bad looking and inert caterpillar that turns to a beautiful digital flying butterfly. And it's a story in which an idea came to swim and did not sink because people in Switzerland and Hong Kong had spirit and innovation. And it's a life story, a life story because people collaborated intercontinentally and created vertopsy, vertopsy in forensic and vertopsy in aquatic animal labs. Thanks to all the teamwork in Hong Kong and in Zurich.